Billy Higgs will be making his professional debut tonight. Her tail of the tape brought to you by Independent Tire Dealer, one of our many great sponsors for the evening. Billy Higgs fighting out of Lone Wolf MMA. Owner Roy Babcock and his wife. Jim Ladies Babcock. and gentlemen, this next bout is sport. scheduled for three rounds in the lightweight division. Once again, your referee is Mark Wassum. This bout is presented by the Independent Tire Dealers. Your local Independent Tire Dealer is a place where you will receive dependable service performed by dependable people. Now introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, introducing Billy Higgs. Billy Higgs sporting the Batman tattoo on his upper end. And his opponent standing across the cage Fighting out of the red corner, Brian Harris. Brian Harris with a tattoo of the arch, which might explain the Nelly walkout. Let's fight. Oh, music. Okay. Making some observations here as we get underway. Touch of gloves. Brian Harris takes the center. Good jabs exchanged. Both fighters exchange big jabs. Higgs takes the center of the cage. Head position on the fence. Higgs maybe... Uh, Looking for a takedown here early on as he works a body lock. What Harris needs to do is let go of the head with his left arm, and he needs to fish for an underhook and square up with Higgs. He needs to be careful of giving him his back here. And there he goes, gets his arm in front of the head. Oh, but he gets the back taken anyway. Higgs peppering away at the knee of Harris. Harris is looking to hand fight here. What Higgs is trying to do is clasp his hands together so he can get control of him. And um, what uh, Harris is going to try to do is break the hands and then turn in. Let's see if he can split the hands here. Higgs really working on that leg of Harris. As Harris hands fight, hand fights and looks to get out of the position. Harris snatches up a guillotine as Higgs looks for the single leg. And a big knee from Harris. Great job by Harris out of the position as he throws big punches. Both fighters exchanging big punches there. Harris in the center of the cage. Higgs is good head movement here. Big leg oh. kick knocks him off his feet. And Harris moves into what looks like mount. Let's see if Harris can work from top position here. Harris stuck in half guard here. Ooh, big hooks from Harris. Harris big landed hooks. some big shots. Five nice shots there from, from Harris. Higgs does have the far side underhook. If Higgs can get to his right hip, he can shrimp out the side and go out the back door or at least create a scramble. Harris doing a good job of making sure his weight is on the center of Higgs' body so he can land those punches. He's also trying to pin down Higgs' right arm with his knee occasionally. Looks like Higgs is in a rough spot here up against the cage, allowing Harris to work. And Harris just landing a steady dose of that left hook. Harris looks content here. He's in a good position here. He hasn't pinned up on the fence. He's in half guard, and he has good posture. That's the thing is when you're able to separate from your opponent, um, you have room to punch. If Higgs can, uh, you know, as he's doing right there, hug his head down into his chest, it's going to be a lot harder to punch him. It looks like Higgs is working that lockdown in half guard, which – I mean, does, does that not limit his ability to, to shrimp and either replace guard or, or get out of, of this position? It is he limiting himself? Yeah, it definitely does. It's like a catch-22. There's pros and cons to it. So sh it's really good at locking your opponent down and taking his base away because he's, he's a table with four pillars, and then when you lock one of those pillars down, you now have three pillars. So it's there's your advantage there, but also, like you just said, it kind of hurts your mobility. So you're kind of taking away his mobility, but also taking away yours. What you need to do in those situations is get good. You start learning how to work um, with the lockdown. So that way you have an advantage in those weird situations. So it just kind of depends on how much he actually works lockdown. Absolutely. Good, good round one turned in by Brian Harris. He was able to secure top position and land some big shots. See what changes are made in the corner of Billy Higgs.
round number two in this amateur contest. We are underway. Round two, Kansas City Fighting Lions 21, Higgs versus Harris. Higgs scores a big overhand and a big uppercut. Looks to hurt Harris. Harris shoots for the takedown. Higgs sprawls. Harris may be hurt here as Higgs works to his back. Higgs takes the back, but he doesn't have any hooks here. He doesn't have control. All, all Harris needs to do is TP up. He gets his right hook in. Now he has control. Has the right hook in and his right his left knee. Is, now the left hook is in. Higgs did a good job there of, of securing both hooks in that position. Now he's looking for the rear naked choke here. This is close. Looks like he may be a little high on the back. Actually, he's... He doesn't have his arm under the chin. Uh-oh. Now, it's not quite under the chin, but you could still finish it here. So what Higgs is going to look to do is, if you guys watch his ankles and his feet, he's going to look his feet, or as you would call hooks, to control the lower half of Harris. And he's going to use his arms with underhooks and over-under to control the upper body. And he's doing a great job doing both things. And he's finding room to land punches in between. So good work here from Higgs. Looks like Higgs is looking to isolate that right arm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Higgs uh, shrimped off um, and went for an arm bar there. It does look like he's paying a lot of attention to the arm. If he can hook it and then push his leg in front of his face, he can hit that arm bar. Higgs transitions to a body triangle here. And Harris is doing a great job of fighting hands and, and staying out of danger, and more importantly, uh, not getting hit with too many big shots here. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned Higgs gets the body triangle. The body triangle is awesome for control. You can really lock a guy down and clamp a guy <clears throat> and have really good control with that with that body triangle. The only other side to that is it kind of hurts your mobility. So if there's a dire need to start scrambling out of nowhere, the body triangle can be difficult to release to start to scramble as opposed to hooks. But it is more control, so there's just you know a little give and take. And he's under the neck there. Looks like he's got the rear naked choke locked up. We can't see from this angle, but it looks like it. Higgs lets go momentarily. As Harris is able to work back to his knees here. Higgs still working the body triangle. Looks to put a lot of pressure on Harris's uh, abdomen area. And he goes back to his hooks and he's got grapevines in. Harris is momentarily flattened out, but he's actually doing a great job of, of keeping his body moving here and not letting Higgs stay in control. Nice scramble from Harris. That's one thing is when you're a top man, a lot of times the fans think, you're on top, why don't you start punching? And you're and you're right to an extent, you're on top, you can punch him. But the more you punch, the more space you create. The more space that you create, the more opportunities that they have to get up from underneath you. And that's what we saw right there. And big exchanges to finish the round, eight seconds left. Big kick to the body. Harris throws a big uppercut. And that's round number two. Great fight here. Great round turned in by Billy Higgs. Another fight going into the third that has to be 1-1. One, one. Kind of the tale of two rounds. Harris was able to uh, secure a takedown in round one and do some damage from the top, and, and Higgs worked from the back almost exclusively for the second round. Uh, the back of Brian Harris, I should say. UFC vet Zach Cummings giving Brian Harris some advice in the corner. <laughs> Round number three underway. Razor sharp fight so far. This Higgs shows a spinning back fist early on. Good outside nice leg, leg kick by Harris. Yeah, you can tell both fighters have good strikes. They have good capabilities to throw nice kicks and good punches. They just need to get their range figured out. I think once they start establishing their range, we'll see some good exchanges like that right there. Oh, and a, and a heel. I don't even know what to call that, a hook <laughs> kick. Uh, look nice.
Pig starting to settle in now. Higgs has a little bit of a Tim Elliott look I to him. I was just about to say that. It looks like Higgs studies Tim Elliott a little bit. Same hair, same beard. Same facial expressions. He's smiling in there. So fighters clinch in the center. Good uppercut landed by Higgs coming out. Oh, both fighters come in and exchange hard punches, at least two at a time. Inside leg kick, nice scores on the knee. Harris is landing in these exchanges, but he's he's not throwing much volume. He's yeah, landing know, with one shot and he's moving. Yeah, both fighters are just throwing one and two shots. I think the first fighter to start putting three and four and five together will start to see the tides turn. Again, we had this fight scored 1-1 one, one going into this round. Very close thus far, a minute remaining in the fight. Good left hand landed by Harris. Yeah, I can't tell in these exchanges who's scoring. It looks like both are, are, are scoring. And with uh, Higgs, his hair flops in the air, and it looks like he's getting tagged. I can't tell if he is or if it's just his hair flopping. Nice uppercut from Higgs. He's timing it perfect. See, Harris is a little bit predictable with his entries. Watch when, they, when they're separated far where they can't hit each other. Watch when they come into range. They're both being really predictable. They need to start feigning. Fake like they're coming in. Fake like they're coming in. And then jump in. Nice jab. Higgs is making that jab land almost every time he throws it. Both fighters starting to figure out each other's timing. An inside leg kick by Harris. And the last 15 seconds of this bout brought to you by McCarthy Auto Group. Let's see who can take it. This is tied going into the third round. This is a close fight here. This last 10 seconds could be huge. Oh, a good. Big shot from Higgs. And that could be big. That's all it takes. And a big moment like that could sway the judges. Very, very close fight turned in between Billy Higgs and Brian Harris. We've said it before in the in the broadcast. I am glad we are not scoring these fights. That was very close from both guys. Who uh, who are you giving this one to, Turner? Man. Uh, I'm, I would score it 2-1 Higgs, and the reason I say that is I think he uh, landed a little bit more in the third, and I think that last flurry and the slip by Harris uh, in the final 10 seconds there might might push it to, to Higgs, but uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it went the other way. Who, who did you have uh, in Yeah, that? I think everything you just said I agree with, and then also another thing to mention is Higgs was the one that was able to establish dominant ground control with the body triangle and with the hooks in the second round. Um, Harris did a really good job, though. I think the stand-up was pretty competitive. I don't know if you could give it to either guy. I know the flurry at the very end definitely uh, played a big toll in it. But this is MMA, and we see you know, the unfortunate thing about MMA is if even if you have for sure won a decision, it, there's, it's no guarantee. And when a fight is this close, really it's kind of a toss-up on it could go either way. So you just never Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Let's go inside the cage for our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> Judge Kevin Champion scores about 29 to 28. Marcus Danforth scores about 29 to 28. And Fernando Marquez scores about 30 to 27. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Billy Higgs. Billy 